Stephanie Jansen is a certified medical assistant at the Avera GI Clinic in Sioux Falls who works with the pill camera. The pill camera is, you guessed it, a pill that holds a tiny camera and takes pictures of your GI tract and can last from hours to days, depending on the body type. They come into the clinic in the morning. Uh, we have them put on either a belt or leads. Um, and then it gets connected to a box that they'll wear throughout the day that transmits the images from that capsule onto the box. And that box is what we use to download those images so that way the physician can see. The pill camera is a useful tool for finding ailments within the small intestine without conducting surgery. We can take a look at the esophagus and the stomach. Uh, and the large colon, but there's that whole small intestine that we just can't view uh, without uh, doing something like this, is, and which a camera that you swallow is just a much better than having to go in surgically. Dr. Christina Hill Jensen is a gastroenterologist, and she is one of three at the GI clinic that collectively read the pill cams up to 50 times a month. Most commonly, the pill is used for finding obscure GI bleeding in the tract. Sometimes people will have ulceration, inflammation, even cancer that can bleed in the small bowel. The second reason we do this most commonly is looking for something called inflammatory bowel disease. And so this is specifically Crohn's disease, a disease that can cause patchy ulceration in the lining of the small intestine. The prep for the pill camera is simply fasting before and a couple hours after swallowing it to make sure it's in the intestines. So they do fast for a few more hours uh, and then they have a light lunch that they can have and some clear liquids that they can drink throughout the day. But once the capsule or once the equipment is removed, then they're allowed to eat whatever they would like. Sometimes the pill doesn't work and it can get stuck in the GI tract, but that is a rare occurrence. Sometimes we'll have the patient be evaluated to ensure there's no evidence of an area that the pill cam could get stuck in. And um, that's a very rare thing, but it's one of the, the major complications that we worry about with this type of technology. But the pill camera has helped diagnose diseases that used to be more difficult to spot within the GI tract. So there are a few types of diseases that we can now really target, specifically small bowel Crohn's disease, where in the past um, we would have to send the patient for radiation with a special type of x-ray or CT scan. So now we can say, okay, we know you have inflammatory bowel disease in your small bowel, let's try to target it with this medication.